Well, Paget Machine is a 40-year business this year, and uh, for the last five years, our primary function has been building complex machine parts for the Department of Defense and prime contractors like Boeing, uh, Lockheed, Northrop Grumman, and some of the electronics industry. Uh, it's been a growing business, and our transition to five-axis machining has been a boon in our industry. We stay in what's called the aging aircraft industry. It might be a KC-135 tanker part, an F-16 aircraft fighter part, an F-15 fighter aircraft part. In each of these instances, 99% of the time, all we're receiving is just drawings and uh, loft data or surface data of the wings or surfaces. And it's requiring us to more or less reverse engineer the part from those older drawings. And I'm talking about drawings anywhere from 25 to 55 years old. Look at this drawing right here. Uh, it's showing the a rib inside of a flap on an MD-11. And all that's being defined here actually is the upper and lower wing surfaces. And if you look on the screen on the left, you'll see what's been provided to us is when I highlight this, you're going to see the upper wing surface here. Uh, what we have to do is we have to actually develop the part from these wing surfaces. Now, once that part has been developed from these wing surfaces, we're able to uh, incorporate and build the model to fit the drawing that looks like this. Now, once these surfaces are developed, now this is utilizing feature cams uh, surface modeling and modeling features, we're able to develop a, an NC program to be able to machine this part. Feature-based programming running off surfaces is a relatively easy programming technique, whereas you can touch a surface like this, go directly to the feature command, indicate it's surface milling. I want to surface mill that area right there. I want to choose a single operation, and I want to do Z-level roughing, and I want to do a 3D pocket, and it, it selects an end mill, it puts the right speeds and feeds in there. I'm going to put finish on it like this. All it requires at this point is for me to tell it not to hit these surfaces here and here. And this part is going to run basically on its own. Here's an example of a housing used in the military aircraft industry. This housing contains the necessary boards and circuits that uh, throws the flares for aircraft for SAM missiles to keep from uh, taking the aircraft out of service. Now this is a simple 3D part can be run on most 3D machines, but what we discovered was is the seven setups required to manufacture this part was because of the, the undercuts on the outside, the angles cut on the outside, the slots cut on the outside, and then we have holes on top and bottom like this. We were able to move this to a five-axis machine and go from seven setups to two setups. The first setup run 95% of the part and the last setup, all it done was machine the bottom off and drill the holes. So here's where you have an example where our machine time overall was reduced by more than 50 percent, able to deliver the product faster and make better profit and be competitive on each contract.